Dear Christian friends, uh, you are welcome to this presentation and this message on Shine for Jesus Christ. I'm Elder Dr. Prosper Tetedo of the Healing Christian Center and this message for the African evening, which was delivered in May 2019. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray that your word even will come out with power and will come out with wisdom and understanding and you bless the hearers also in Jesus' name. Amen. Light from God. Jesus is the light. John 1 verses 1 to 5. And God says, I am God. Today I will handle all your problems. I do not need your help. John 1 verse 1 going says, in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. In him was light, and the light was the light of men. The light shines in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. So light always conquers darkness. Amen. And remember, some reminders of life's issues. The first is that God's timely light. There's something for God to do. And you need to leave it in God's time. If God has prompted you with a vision, wait. Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 1 says, To everything there is a season and a time for every purpose under the heavens. So if life delivers a situation you cannot handle, my brother, my sister, do not attempt to resolve it. Kindly put it on the SFGTD. That's something for God to do box. It will be addressed in my time, not yours. That says the Lord. Once the matter is placed into the box, do not hold on to it. A second is the pound light. You know, there's so much work stress. There's unemployment stress. There's school stress. I see in Isaiah chapter 54, verse 17. All related to money issues, most of them. So, should you have a bad day at work, think of the man who has been out of work for years. Isaiah 54, verse 17 says, no weapon fashion against you shall stand. And I pray that whatever your situation in every stress, in every distress, may the Lord be with you and take you through it. The third life issue to understand is the love light. Love is important in relationships. As we learn from 1 John chapter 4, verses 7 to 11, and love always gives. And should you despair over a relationship which is gone bad, think of the person who has never known what it is to love and be loved in return. Beloved, let us love one another for love is from God and whoever loves has been born of God and knows God. Thanks light is another thing to remember. Sometimes your car may break down and you'll be able to walk because you have less. Think of the paraplegics who cannot walk. Rejoice always and pray and give thanks. As in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verses 16 to 18. Should you have a breakdown? As I mentioned, leaving you miles away from assistance. Think of the paraplegic who would love the opportunity to take that walk. As in 1 Thessalonians 5, 16 to 18, it says rejoice always, pray without ceasing and give thanks. Rejoice always, pray without ceasing, give thanks in all circumstances for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. The fifth is life, 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 light, life, light. 
choose life. Pause here and ask yourself, what is your purpose in this life? What is your vision for yourself? What has God placed in your heart? Philippians chapter 4, verses 11 to 13 will be referred to. I can do all things through him who strengthens me. Should you find yourself at a loss, my dear brother, my dear sister, and pondering what is life all about, asking what is my purpose, be thankful. There are those who didn't live long enough to get the opportunity. As in Philippians chapter four, verses 11 to 13, I can do all things through him who strengthens me. Not that I'm speaking of being in need, for I have learned in whatever situation I am to be content. I know how to be brought low, and I know how to abound. In any and every circumstance, I have learned the secret of facing plenty and hunger, abundance and need. I can do all things through him who strengthens me. The six is security light. Victim, are you a victim of other people's bitterness, ignorance, or smallness, or insecurities? Jeremiah 29 verse 11 gives you hope. He says, I know the plans I have for you. God knows his plans for you. So should you find yourself being a victim of people's insecurity? Remember Jeremiah 29 verse 11. God knows the plans he has for you. Plans for good and not for evil to give you a future and a hope. The final light is remember the greatest oak was once a little acorn that held its ground. Philippians chapter 4, verse 8. So, finally, brethren or brothers, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is commendable, if there is any excellence, if there's anything worthy of praise, think about these things. Always remember the greatest book was once a little icon that held his ground. So hold your ground. As we enter into a prayer of commitments, in Romans chapter 10, verses 9 to 10, which I'll read, that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shall believe in thy heart that God raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. For the scripture has said this. So if at this time you believe in your heart that Jesus Christ is Lord, and that God raised him from the dead, you shall and confess this. And you can give your life to Jesus right now if you haven't taken that step by praying this prayer of commitment. Say it after me. Dear Lord, I'm sorry for all the wrong I have done in my life and call upon you to help and guide me. I believe in my heart that Jesus Christ is the Son of God that he died for me and rose again from the dead, so my sins can be forgiven. Please forgive me for all my sins. I accept Jesus now as my Savior and Lord. Thank you for saving me. Amen. As you've prayed this prayer, rejoice. Heaven rejoices with you. And if Jesus Christ has come into your life, because he says, as many as received him, who believed in his name, he gave them the right to become children of God. John 1, verse 12. So let's make some declarations here. 
even as Christians, Zechariah 4, 9. O God of foundations and finishing, do for me as you did for Zechariah. I decree and declare that I shall finish all my projects in good time, in God's time, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Zechariah 4, 9 says this, and we know it's not by mind, but by power, but by his spirit. Amen. The second declaration is based on Isaiah 54, verse 17. Shall we pray? Pray with me. I overcome every hindrance and negative power of darkness, speaking against my projects, my family, my ministry. In the name of Jesus, I command them to wither now by fire. Every negative power of darkness, begin to pray and use your prayer language. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. As in Isaiah 54, verse 17, no weapon that is fashioned against you shall succeed, and you shall confute every tongue that rises against you in judgment. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their vindication from me declares the Lord. Amen. The third declaration is based on Genesis chapter 19, verse 23 to 25. Pray with me and declare evil personalities and principalities contending and standing against the completion of my vision. Scatter now by fire in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I cancel any evil decree, decreed to terminate revival in my life, my family, church, and nation. Amen. And the Lord rained on Sodom and Gomorrah, sulfur and fire from the Lord out of heaven. And he overthrew those cities and all the valley and all the inhabitants of the cities and what grew on the ground, according to Genesis chapter 19, verses 23 to 25. The final declaration which is based on Matthew 7, verses 6 to 8. Oh Lord, I stand on this word to ask you for the total restoration of all that the recurring evil occurrences have eaten from my life, family and ministry, and for the destiny of our community and nations in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Even now, it says in his word, do not give dogs what is holy and do not throw your pearls before pigs, lest they trample them underfoot and tend to attack you. Ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and it will be open to you. For everyone who asks receives and he who seeks finds, and to the one who knocks, it will be opened. Amen. May the Lord, even at this time, even protect you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you, even as you pray this prayer of commitment. May the Lord make his, lift up the light of his countenance upon you, and may his grace abound in your life forever, and ever, even as you shine for Jesus Christ. And may your tomorrow be greater than today. In Jesus' name, amen.